All right, we have here a Frontier V6 power chair. This is an extreme power chair. So this is for some of you out there who likes to do some rough terrain. This would be one of them to look at. This is a front wheel drive V6 Frontier, meaning the drive wheels and the motors are in the front. There's only a tip wheel there. The rear wheels, there's only four wheels on the ground because all your weight is back here, okay? So this is a front wheel drive. It's really an outside chair. You can use it in the house, but it's gonna be noisy. This chair has 16 miles, so it's practically brand new. It's an extreme power chair. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric feet. All the functions can be worked through the joystick or through the switch box. I like to use the switch box. It's quicker for me. So, if you push the button on the, on the, you can see the seat starting to go up now. It'll go from 22, 23 low. You add 12 inches, you'll be at 34, 35 inches by the time the seat is all the way elevated. You can see this is built super solid. Um, it's a heavy duty power chair. This power chair will handle up to 400 pounds, but with the seat lift, the weight capability of this chair is only 340. So with the seat lift, no more than 340 weight on this chair. Without the seat lift, which this one has a seat lift, so it wouldn't really matter. So this chair can handle 340 with the seat lift maximum weight. As you can see, we've got these low pressure knobby tires for outside. They're 14 inches. They're knobby, they're really good for the grass and sand, loose dirt and everything. You can see the suspension for the back here. And also this chair will drive with the seat elevated. So even with the seat elevated, as you can see, it'll drive. And you can see the actual shocks in the front on that right there. And you can actually see the motors right here. These are 800 watt motors each. That's 1600 watts of motor between the two. 800 watts of motors, two motors on this chair. Um, this chair also, if you want to put the, the chair in neutral and you want to roll it, you would uh, lift the little red handle right here. You would push it, I'm sorry, you would push it down. And what that does, it unlocks the wheel. You can see it right there how it's unlocked. You have a lever here and you have a lever on the opposite side. On, this, on these front wheel drive, the new models, you've got a lever right here, back up, and you're back and you're back in gear. You can see how well constructed this is. This is your armature for the seat lift. Your actuator is actually here. You have large eight inch caster wheels in the back with double forks. Huge frame, a huge frame right here. You can see the size of that frame all the way around the chair. So I'm gonna turn the power back on and we're gonna bring the chair back closer here. All right, so we've got the seat elevated now, so we're gonna bring the seat down. So the joystick is on the right-hand side. So if you're left-handed, we can switch all this to the left arm. These arms do flip up on this chair, so you do have flip-up arm, which is nice. So if you transfer from this side, you do have flip-up arms. As you saw, the chair will drive with the seat elevated. This one does. The next feature I'm gonna show you is the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the bottom goes back, okay? So when you hit these buttons, is it there, there's a one second delay. So when you hit the button, hold it down for one second and it'll start coming, okay? This is called your electric tilt. There we go. So the next thing I'm gonna show is called the electric legs. Okay. Right, one more thing about this chair. When you tilt the seat back, I'm going to go all the way back right now, you'll hear the beep. When you hear that beep, you cannot make the legs go up electrically. I don't know why, that's just the way the chair is set up. So if you want the legs to go up, you have to stop uh, just before you're fully tilted, right about here. If you stop here, before it beeps, your legs will go up. So now if I do the legs, whoop, seat lift. Bring the seat lift back down. The legs are here. So now I'll do the legs, and you can see how the legs go up now. So when you're tilted, if you need some circulation, you can lift your legs up like this, 
and you'd definitely be higher than your body, right there. Those are called the electric legs, electric feet. That's just amazing right there. So that's a little extreme. So if I bring the tilt back down halfway, your feet will still be higher. So if I bring it over here, you can still see your feet are higher in your body, okay? So I'm gonna bring the tilt all the way down. So on this chair here, the next function I'm gonna show is called the electric recline. So the electric recline is when the back goes back by itself. You can see the back going back. That's called the electric recline. So this would be the fully reclined position. It's fully sitting down, so it's not quite all the way flat, but it's pretty much there. So that's the recline. I'm gonna bring the recline back up. Now I'm gonna bring the legs back down. Uh, you can only do one function at a time, so I'm gonna bring the recline back up. If you try to do the legs at the same time, that function stops. So I'm gonna bring the recline back up. Then I'm going to bring the legs back down. And when you're outside, make sure you leave your legs up a little bit so you're not too close to the ground. So we're going to bring it back to normal driving position here. Now I'm going to bring the feet back down. These buttons are a little confusing. They have an up and a down. That's why I'm, I'm getting confused with all these buttons there. But it won't take you long to learn, just like I am right here. So leave your legs out a little bit like that. So, so far we've covered the 12 inch seat lift where the chair still drove, the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric, electric legs. Remember this chair's got 16 miles, so it's practically brand new. Let's look at the seat on this chair. The seat on this chair is right, right around 1718 by 20 deep, okay? So I am not changing the seat on this chair. So if you want this chair, this is the seat that's gonna come with it. From outside to outside of arm is 27 inches. That, I cannot make these any less, 27 inches. The cushion can be a little bit bigger. We could probably put a 20 inch cushion, even though it would overlap. Well, this is adjustable anyway. So this platform is adjustable. So we can put a bigger cushion if we had to, a 20 by 20. We can do that with no problem with this chair. It does have a safety belt. Also, this chair has, in front right here, it has a cigarette lighter, and right over here, it has two USB ports where you can plug in, you, ch you charge your phone right there on this uh, box right here. These are not lights, these are just for cell phone. The back of the chair, you can see you have a bag, a tool bag, you have an adjustable headrest, and you have your modular brain box back there. You have an anchor point here, and you have another one on the opposite side, and you have one in front by each wheel. So you have four anchor points on this chair. This chair, again, this is the extreme power chair with 800 watt motors. There's two motors, total wattage is 1600 watts of power. It has 16 miles. This is an extreme power chair. Watch the video at the end of this video, at the end of this presentation. You'll see how powerful this chair is outside, okay? The seat will stay the same on this chair. We can put a bigger cushion, but we're not changing ordering parts for this chair. Um, it's just too time consuming, so it will stay the way it is there. When you charge this chair, you'll take the charger that comes with your chair. I'm gonna use this charger, for example. Plug it right here, and as soon as the light turns green on your charger, the batteries are fully charged. There's two batteries in here, and um, they'll give you about 10, 15 miles on a battery charge. It all depends what kind of usage, if you're going uphill, how much ground, how much in the field you are, that mileage will vary. But if you're looking for an extreme power chair with two 800 watt motors, front wheel drive with those large, low pressure tires, uh, this chair will not go on the beach. So this is not a beach chair. You need four of these on a chair with four motors to go on the beach. So this chair will go everywhere else 
but the beach, okay? Has 16 miles, fully loaded, ready to go. So this is the Frontier V6 front wheel drive. The extreme power chair. So this power chair is a lot of fun to drive. I feel like I'm driving a, um, it's hard to explain, a four wheel barrel. It's like it's got a nice bounce to it. Must be the weight of the chair. So this is the one, we're gonna take it through the grass here, then I'm gonna take it through my ditch, and you'll be able to see that this, is, this chair will go just about anywhere. So let's go take it for a cruise here. Course, this grass here is nothing this is like your yard but I'm gonna take it through the ditch over here and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about you see the wheel spinning you can see the power of this shit. I'm in a pretty slanted ditch here It digs itself in, that's how much power it has. So if I want to go this way up this hill, there's about a two or three inch gap right there. It should have no problem with that. So, that's what a chair with these types of power, this type of motors will do. I'm going to lift the seat right now to all the way to the top so you can see me drive the chair with the seat elevated. So this chair will go 6.2 miles an hour so it's pretty fast. It's very responsive so this is not your grandma's chair. So if you're going to drive this chair it does respond. It does have a little bit of a torque. You've got a lot of power. It needs, just like it would be like a, a sports car. We're almost all the way up now. Gorgeous power chair. There we go, we're almost up. We're all the way up now. You can see the chair with the seat elevated. It'll drive at a reduced speed. So the, re the reason these companies, on some of these companies, they reduce the speed is for your safety and the safety of their chair. So if you're gonna drive with the seat elevated like this, make sure that you always, always drive on flat surface where there's nothing in your way, uh, nothing bumpy. The seat lift should only be used inside of a mall or inside your home um, if you don't want to damage it. It's a nice seat lift, but you do have to take care of them. So this one has the seat lift, the tilt, the recline, the legs, the large arms right here. And these do flip, and it does have the uh, USB port. Just a nice power chair. I'm Mark and my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.